All right, guys, welcome to FIFA 06. This is the start of the manager mode, and I just want to say, yes, it is called manager mode in this game, not career mode, so let's go straight to it. So um, you're starting your 15-season journey, so yes, confirmed there's 15 seasons in this of a football club. Your goal is to become the best manager ever, but there are many ways to get there. Uh, you will negotiate with famous players and build an all-star club, or build a club of hidden gems and scouting out youth players, perhaps. You will move from club to club until you find the best one for you. Dazzle the board director, sponsors, fans and players get to be known as the legend behind it all okay so um yeah to read a message it's really awkward you don't press the a button or x button or on it or whatever you're playing it with you actually have to press the y button or probably triangle on the playstation if i remember correctly so before you get started you'll need to create a manager choose the look of the manager yeah then pick uh which region you want to um take a career in so six regions in the game, as you're about to see. From the uh, chosen region, you'll search for your first job. You can get down to uh, putting personal stamp on the first team squad. So yeah, yeah. And now we got to pick the look of our manager. Now I believe all these are 3D models, actually. Um, now, um, see, like in 2005, I always had my default one that I went for. And yes, there is women in this, guys. By the way, if you're uh, if you're uh, curious, there are women in here. I'll go here. Me looks pretty normal-ish. They all look weird to me. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go with uh, my name, first name, which is Lewis, as you might know, and surname. Nope, you're not getting my surname before any of you start. Um, we're going to go with retro again because, uh, you know, why not? I think last time in 2005, I, I, I think I was epic, wasn't I? Um, but yeah, where's the, uh, there's our... Oh, there we go. We'll do that. Nationality, England. Now, born year. I don't believe my born year is in here, so I'm just going to put it whatever's closest to it, which is 1985. Um, although my birthday is 24th of September, so I will put that in. Because uh, why the hell not? And region. Now, you guys have been voting for the team that you want, so there's all kinds of regions. What you'll find, though... Well, we are just before we get into it, um, we are going to be in region 1. And you guys have been voting. And just before we get into it, I just want to say, none of the big teams, and I mean the big, big teams, are open. Like the Madrids, the Barca's. Uh, as you can see, Arsenal are not on this list. Um, if you if you go onto the next page, maybe not the next page. As you can see, like Chelsea are not in there. Um, there's no Liverpool, Man United, that kind of stuff. So uh, you've just got to go with what's been given, pretty much, guys. Um, good old Darlington there. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, you have quite a selection of um, teams from Premier. Yeah, you do actually get get a choice this time. You can actually start in the um, in the Championship or the Premier League. Whereas in 2005, you couldn't do that. You had to pick like a League One or League Two team. Um, I don't think there were any Championship teams available from the start in 2005. But the club that you've been all voting for is Bolton, of all teams. I don't know why you all went for that. It was either between Bolton or Portsmouth, guys. So yeah, and I think Valencia was a very close third. So um, yeah, it is going to be Bolton. Um, so the ball expects you to finish in the top half of the table. That's very easy. Uh, there are eight selectable staff um, positions. To, so you can up basically the upgrades from last year, they're a little bit different this year. Uh, in FIFA 06. And um, the board of extras provided was with 10,000 credits to upgrade staff. Right, so basically, uh, dumb deal. Uh, sign new contract. Uh, Honoured with great confidence in me. Um, I will do my best for the for the future mission. Uh, provide wonderful results for the team and fans. Let's hope so. And uh, yeah, this is a staff upgrade. So basically, it's a little bit different. As you can see, we're already on level five, level four with some of them. And as you can see on the right hand side, the available budget is ten thousand to start off with. If we wanted to upgrade our scout, for example. It cost us 7,000, available budget go down to 3,000, and the upgrade cost uh, to go up to the next level would be 9,000, where obviously we have an insufficient fund, so we can't do that. Uh, now, one of the... I think the stadium manager, which wasn't in 2005, was it? If you, It's really costly, but if you can get it up, I think it means you can generate more money per game. Um, so striker, a goalkeeper coach is only on four, uh, but the upgrade cost is 8,000. Um, how much is the fitness? Fitness is 9,000. You know what? I think we might just leave this for now, guys. I'm just going to leave it with that. Uh, now, companies want to sponsor our club, basically. I'm not going to read through that, but if you want to, please pause the video and have a look at it. But basically, um, 
you'll get offered a bunch of uh, sponsors here as, as you can see I've got a couple of pages of it um, so for example sports magazine they will fund you 3,830 per game I think that's if you win a match though they will give you that um, if you draw a match I think you get something like maybe a quarter of it or something like that or maybe half in some cases um, league bonus um, they'll give you 5,000 at the end of the season if you can win the league I think that is uh, domestic cup if you win a domestic cup they'll give you 6800 uh, extra bonus is nothing i can't remember what the extra bonus is all about actually generally guys generally i go with whatever offers the most funding per game because i found that that is the best way to go as you can see here t mobile and um, they're offering 4400 per game which is pretty good the loyalty bonuses though if you can win a cup or top the league is incredible that is a lot of points to use but it depends whether or not you're actually going to win anything so i think i'm just going to kind of leave that maybe um generally i used to just go with whatever gives you the most and i think they're all in order actually of how much they actually give do give you um i mean that that one looks pretty good there's no extra bonus on it though um that one with sport one looks pretty good actually um they're offered quite a lot that one is pretty tv digital is quite actually that's really good um so game star i mean there's a league bonus in there somewhere isn't there um i'm i'm, I'm sort of feeling i'm sort of feeling hmm Maybe this one. This one looks really good with TV Digital. You get quite a lot there for that. Um, just the loyalty bonus is really nice. Um, you know, we'll go with TV Digital. I mean, it's one of the ones that's offering more per game anyway, which is what I like. So we're going to sign that contract, uh, and that'll do, guys. Um, so, yeah, I think the bigger, the bigger the team you sort of go with, I think the more you get offered, and you have to re-sign each year anyway, or something like that. So the countdown is over, the Premier League begins today, blah, 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 most improved player, etc, etc. We know the deal, guys, we know the deal. Now, uh, to start off with, uh, immediately I just want to go over this, and I believe... Uh, in fact, let's have a, let's just have a look at the calendar to start off with. We're going to be uh, at home... <laughs> to uh, Newcastle to start off with, would you believe that? It's a midweek game which doesn't make any sense and Premier League never kicks off in midweek, it always kicks off um, on the Saturday, sort of like the second, sometimes third Saturday in August, but yeah. Um, first away game is going to be at West Ham, um, then we're at home to Everton, away to Birmingham and that's August over with. Uh, we don't know who we're playing in the Cup yet, so we'll leave that for now. Um, we're going to be at home to Tottenham, uh, followed by away at Sunderland, home to Wigan, away <laughs> to Liverpool on my birthday. Would you believe that? Really? That is so freaky. Um, if we get through the Cup, we'll have another Cup game uh, on the 11th of October. Then we're at home to Manchester United straight after Liverpool. Away at Charlton, home to Blackburn. Away at Man City, away... No, home at um, Bolton. I mean, Aston Villa, what am I talking about? If we get through to the next round of the Cup, the fourth round, which I think is the quarter-final, I want to say, um, we'll be at... Um, well, well, that'll be on the 8th of November, um, and then we're going to be at home to Arsenal, away to Fulham, home to West Brom, getting into December here, um, away at Middlesbrough, home to Chelsea, away at Portsmouth, home to West Ham, there is another League Cup game, which I think is the start of the... S oh wait, that's quarterfinals there, okay, I didn't think that, um, and then we're going to be away at United uh, over the Christmas period, away at Everton as well, I love away matches, Especially at Christmas time, don't ask me why. Um, home to Charlton, FA Cup starts, where I hit the FA Cup. Um, and then the semi-finals, semi-finals, and then obviously the final of the League Cup, which usually takes place in February, but it's in January for some reason, because this game is not that correct. Um, let's have a look. We're going to be in the Cup... Um, if we get through to the fourth round, I'm going to be um, at home to Fulham. We're at Wigan... Home to Liverpool on the 4th of March, away at Arsenal uh, on the 11th of March, Cup game, home to Sunderland at the end of March, starting in April we've got West Brom, what is that, semi-final of the FA Cup is on the 9th of April, uh, then we're going to be away at Newcastle, home 
to Middlesbrough, away at Bolton, home to Birmingham, followed by another home game against Manchester City. A lot of games in April here, and not much time in between them. So uh, I hope fatigue isn't a problem. Uh, at Stamford Bridge on the 29th of April, and then the last couple of league games is going to be uh, away at Villa and home to Portsmouth. So uh, yeah, guys, and then obviously the FA Cup final is going to be on May 20th. Um, so yeah, guys, um, I don't really know what else to say. That's uh, that is pretty much that, and yeah, that's it's going to be it's going to be a long season. <laughs> this going to be a long season, but as you can see, our budget is nineteen thousand, uh, which is really nice. Um, so you can check the sponsor details if you want. You can check your manager history. We have no history. Um, I think the job security is 50 there, as you can see. Team chemistry is 39, I believe that is, and the other one, which is 50, I can't quite remember which what that is actually I wish it doesn't tell you either um, so yeah uh, next thing we could do is there is statistics in the game which you can look at but there's nothing to show off at the moment um, team management um, so we've got our squad here so let's go through who's in this in the Bolton team back in the day 2005-2006 season Bolton squad Yaskalainen and goal what a keeper what a ledge um, looks like they're playing a 4-3. Well, There's a 4-3-2-1. That might change because I'm not. Mm, I'm not too sure about the formations in this game, to be honest. Ben Aim is. Uh, uh, ben Aim is actually a good player back in the day, but he didn't quite do it, in my opinion. Um, and Gotti got Garner, Nolan, Camper, Okocha. Wow, I remember him. Gianna Kopolos, Juf, Obogati. Walker, J.D. Nakata, Pedersen, Davis, Dave, Fair, whatever, um, Gilligan, no, Gil Gillan, uh, Gary Speed, rest in peace, uh, Fadiga, I want to say, um, O'Brien, Vastir, and Fatch, 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 so, um, yeah, then obviously you've got your kick takers and whatnot. Edit player numbers, which I don't believe was in 2005, so that's that's somewhat of an improvement. It's really just simple and straightforward. You can export a team, which i never used that in my life. Contract alerts, which I don't think there should be any. Oh, except for a Kotcher. Oh, Kotcher is retiring, actually, so uh, fine. That's fair enough. And then, I believe, if you press the Y button here, guys, we can actually go to the game settings. So, uh, if you're playing on PlayStation, it should be Triangle. So, th there is FIFA 06 Challenges playlist. Maybe we'll get into that another time, guys. This is just the, man the manager mode, and I just want to show it off. Uh, we're going for half links on four minutes. I'm going to put on the normal game speed. I'm going to start on professional. I did want to start on world class because I know I am capable of playing this game on world class, but it's been quite a long time since I've played this game, guys. And we'll start off on professional, and I think what we could do is build our way up to um, world class. Um, so yeah, uh, team names on, you know, you, you don't really need to tell me, uh, to tell, what, you don't really need me to tell you what any of this is, so yeah. And now one thing that you can do, by the way guys, if you can if you can actually see that there, where, where it's got the Bolton kit and the Newcastle kit, if you press uh, L or R, you know, if you're on a Playstation it'll be L1, R1, R2, L2, whatever. If you press them, you can actually change the kits there for the match. So just bear in mind that if you want to change the kits for, for whatever reason. Now, one of the last things that I need to go through is the transfer central. Um, uh, now, it's pretty straightforward, this. You've got negotiation history, your club playlist, where I think you can actually try and get rid of some of your players. But I'm going to leave it to you guys to tell me who you think I could get rid of. You've got all these little markings here. Uh, for example, Dave is here. I think he's a target man, which is with the man, uh, the little symbol uh, next to his overall rating. Um, it's got the man and the, and the target on it. And I think the other one means it's pretty accurate in front of goal as well, if I'm not mistaken. And there's quite a lot of players that have got these. And I think, you know, some of them look different than others. I think some of them are meant to be like gold, some of them are bronze kind of thing. And I think some of them are silver. And I think, I think that's kind of how it works. It tells you how good they sort of are. Um, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, transfer market. These are the bunch of players that are available then. So as you can see, uh, I think these are players that are available for uh, transfer. And I think if you hit, yeah, you can actually have a look at what is available for loan as well. So I could go to any 
it'll search and it'll bring me a whole bunch of players that are available for loan. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm actually going to go through this. Uh, and then in the next episode, you guys could uh, tell me and let me know. And then we could have a bid on one or two players. Um, and see what, just see what's available, guys. See what is available. There's not very many players available for loan here. So let's go back and we'll go for what is available for transfer. Uh, there is 19 pages of transfers here, so we'll just we'll go through it quite quickly, just to sort of get through um, what you guys uh, want. Schmeichel here is available for transfer for Manchester City. Barthez, but he's 86 rated, so I guess that's not too bad on this game. But uh, he's 10,000 points. We've got 19,000 guys, so it's not too bad for us at the moment. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't really know what what Bolton needs, to be honest. I'd have to get, like, a feel for the team first before I decide um, who to sign, really. Um, so, you know, all the stats are available on page, guys. I mean, you can have a look at the overall. You can have a look at the age, the price, and what team they're playing for. It's so much better. It's a much better um, improvement over 2005 because 2005 was just like you have to go out and find your own players and try for them if you want um, so yeah you just have to sort of go out there and just get lucky I suppose where in this game it's just right in front of you the information is there it's as simple as you like I like the simplicity of this in this game which is uh, which is quite a nice um, thing to have in this game if the music thing would go there yeah there it is um so yeah guys that is pretty much it um nobody's really standing out here Mikel alonso there um you know nothing too much is standing out um you know, o'brien from newcastle you know there's a lot of young players on here Ooh, galatasaray player there but it's 33 so i don't think it's worth it i mean he's got overall 75 you know, maybe we should try and just sign a big, big striker or something up front. Oh, uh, actually, Ben Ayun there from West Ham, central attacking midfielder, is up for transfer. What do you think about that, guys? That might be a good one. I might be, I might be going for that. That might be a good one. Let me know what you think. Should I put in a cheeky bid? A bit of a cheek. Um. Yeah, I can't really see too many else. Last page here. Oh, Tagelli. We got a bit of Tagels in here, guys. How about that? 71 overall. He might not be too bad. Who who knows, guys? What should I do? Should I have a bit of a cheek on Tagels or what? Um, Portillo of Real Madrid here. Striker. Um, 23. But the thing is, when you try to buy a player, for example, guys... You, this screen comes up and it basically I don't know how it works out the number because all I'm pressing here is left and it just goes up to random numbers so you have to bid on players um, and more times than not if the player is quite hard to get if he's playing for a big club you probably won't get him you can change the contract length the number of bids I don't understand this the number of bids I don't know what what putting two bids in actually does I have no idea how that works or what it means um, I think this is that they get like 5, 10 or 15% of their, um, I think their salary or something like that if they score as well. I think that's what that means, so I'm not too sure. It's either that or the, the amount paid towards the other club that he bought them for. It's probably one or the other, but um, yeah guys, that is going to be it I think for this episode. So obviously we've got no negotiation history. Um, I, w I was originally going to get into a match, but I figured that the best thing to do is just to kind of uh, go into this and, uh, you know, explain a lot of things. As you can see, our statistics there, 78, um, if it'll roll back onto Bolton statistics, 78 offence, 77 midfield, 69 defence. Yes, 69. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> that Bolton have, so maybe we need a defender or two, guys. But anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. So uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always. Thank you for watching this episode. Let me know who you think I should try and sign in this game. And, um, yeah, bring it on Newcastle in the next episode, who are higher rated than Bolton. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, guys. And I will see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.